We've got some words to read through in this one. I'll sum it up. Valerie's using her Master's of Fine Arts selling dog clothing, and she has estimated the amount of time it takes to hand-knit dog sweaters. That's three hours for sweaters. And dog diapers take five hours. All right? This stuff is huge in California. Don't feel bad for her. Uh, honestly, this is probably the best she could hope for with a degree like that. But let's get to these graphs. If she works 60 hours a week, I want to know which one of these graphs represents the number of sweaters and diapers made in one week. Okay? The way you do this is you say, okay, what would happen if she spent all her time making sweaters and no diapers? Well, the max sweaters is given by this idea of taking that 60 hours. Whoa, give me my pen back. Taking your 60 hours and dividing it by 3. So the maximum number of sweaters is 20. And likewise, what's the maximum number of diapers? Well, if she spent all her time on making dog diapers, that's 60 over 5 hours per hand-embroidered dog diaper. That makes 12 diapers max. So now what this comes down to is figuring out where 12 and 20 go. Because you see, yeah, look at this. We've got two options. Maybe it's that one, maybe it's this one. We have to pay close attention to the axes on this graph. Well, I'll use blue for this. Y represents the number of sweaters. Okay, so Y equals 20. Here's one that works. Here's one that works. The others don't work. And I'm going to say purple is X. That's the number of diapers. Okay, and that can be up to 12. So what do we got here? Looks like this is the only one that works for the diapers graph. So there you go. This is our graph that represents her division of labor between sweaters and diapers. And truth is, she's probably somewhere in the middle. She makes some diapers, some sweaters. Who knows? But graphs can actually be a pretty useful economic way to look at uh, labor division when you're choosing between products.